Welcome back to Project Wilson. In the last video, I showed you guys how we did this DIY ruler holder and utility holder, which was imperative that we do before we go to the next step because we're gonna be putting aluminum sheeting all around this framing to compartmentalize all these areas. We have a lot to do in a short amount of time. Uh, just to give you guys an idea, today's Thursday and I'm going to the TEC on Saturday. And I want this boat to be at a certain stage when I take it to the tournament. First thing we're gonna do is go back. Now that we know all of our lids fit, I wanna make sure that all these uh, rivets are in and everything's secured. As you can see, for most of these, I just did one or two rivets. Usually we like to put down three, three rivets uh, on the ends of all these one and a half inch angles, kind of just like I did here. And that's just gonna strengthen up this entire deck that much more. After all the moving and tossing around, this rivet has come loose. So I need to uh, drill out these rivets, put new ones in, add some supports underneath these as well because they're extremely flimsy. Without further ado guys, follow along. We're gonna be moving fast. Um, I just cracked open my second Red Bull today. So uh, that should help speed up the entire process, but let's go ahead and get started. Rivets are in, we got three on every side. Yeah, we're gonna make supports in between here to support this piece just a little bit better. got all these support pieces attached up underneath that gave a lot more stability to this piece of angle which is awesome so, so looking at all this now I probably should have ran the pieces going this way underneath this side bracket mainly because now when I put my lid on top the long side of the lid is gonna be a sixteenth of an inch off if I had put these underneath and then ran these pieces on top my short side would have been a 16th off. So now I'm gonna have to fill the gap of the long side instead of filling the gap on the short side. So I have enough uh, just scrap pieces of 1 16th everything here. So I'm gonna use that to fill up these areas because I'm gonna have to run them you know, all the way, the width of this as well. We Got all of the aluminum sheeting cut. So we cut five pieces of this 050 out to use as our vertical supports in here. And I'll lay those in here in a second so you guys get kind of an idea of what it looks like. But before I go ahead and do all that, the reason we bought these two sheets of pink foam, a half inch, is because we're gonna be lining the inside of this stuff. Now, this doesn't really, I got these cut the other night by the way, but uh, these really don't do, you know, anything specific aside from if the boat was to start taking in water. It, uh, you know, this is just one more area where water can't fill. So that and it might do a little bit as far as like sound dampening uh, on the interior, but realistically, that's not why it's going in. It's just kind of just added safety feature. So we're gonna get that stuff in. I would like to vacuum this out. I just don't wanna, it's extremely late at night. I'll just try to sweep some of these 
shavings into the center at least or something i don't know uh but i am gonna start cutting up some of this that i don't have pre-made already i'm sorry guys i just feel like i haven't haven't been on the camera at all this evening i've been it took actually quite a long time to cut the aluminum sheeting um one thing that i didn't take into consideration that you guys need to know is we did take off that 16th of an inch on the outside of this one and a half inch angle and we did that so that the lid would fit inside here and that all three lids together would butt up and meet each other at the ends well that means that this tube comes all the way up flush with the end of this one and a half inch angle now so when that lid sits in here that track system actually sits below here so I, i'm not actually able to sheet this entire distance i had to kind of drop it down a little bit so you'll see what i'm talking about in a second let's throw some foam in here since that's a quiet activity we can do late at night here's where we're at we got pink foam in here these in each section there's two pieces of half inch pink foam back to back to create one inch and it does a good job of filling up all that space i think i already mentioned a little bit ago we already have all the uh, sheets of aluminum cut to go on the inside and outside of these areas which i had every intention of showing you guys tonight however i'm not gonna be able to put them in yet so i think i'm gonna go ahead and leave that for tomorrow i know that i, I feel like i keep teasing you guys with the uh no we're getting ready to put in the aluminum sheeting because in my mind like i feel like we should already be there and i've just like that's been the whole point of me working so hard lately is because i know that as soon as that aluminum sheeting goes in it's going to change the whole feeling of this entire build and <laughs> that's what i'm trying to i'm trying to get there so bad but i'm just not there yet so once again, it doesn't look like we got a whole lot done, but it's a bunch of those little detail things that are gonna make the difference. So, I mean, they gotta get done either way. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for all the support lately. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that little bell thingy to get notified every time that I make an upload. Thank you to everybody that came out and saw us at the TEC. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.